Julius and Matt McGuire. McGuire from St. Clair, Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania State Champ. Johnny DeJulius, as we stated earlier, off a huge tournament win at Vegas with a pin over Cody Brewer in the finals. McGuire off a win over Scott Castejo of Old Dominion on Monday. So And to Julius also with a big win over uh, Joe Cologne of Northern yeah, Iowa's free salary. Um, also, he was one of the only two to win for the Buckeyes on Sunday in Rec Hall at Penn State. So uh, beat Gillibon. Kublion? Jimmy Gillibon. Jimmy Gillibon. I think who do you think's gonna wrestle against Iowa? Gillibon I think or you will see Conaway. Conway, I think Gillibon. Gillibon. Conway got pinned, remember last year? Yes. Got pinned in that, that crazy signature move of uh, Tony Ramos. Yeah. And so we're almost a minute into this match, and not really any action. Kind of a feel-out process. And, uh, you know, the game with Johnny DeJulius is he loves being underneath. He wants you to front headlock him. So he, he can uh, dump you. He wants to dump you to your back. Score yet, and their hand fight in there, uh, grip hand fight. John, Johnny DeJulius with a two on one has brought it to the mat. 132 remains in the first period. The score is here. Mac McGuire, Johnny DeJulius, three time Ohio State champion of the year. DeJulius, the Welsh Jesuit, one time state champion for Upper St. Clair. And, and, and as you said, it's like McGuire knows what not to do. Not to get, but this is where. So Julius would like to be reversed there. He would like to be underneath catching that elbow. He actually just put himself in that position. Tried. And I, you know what? You see a lot of kids with success on that dump, barrel roll, Kelly, whatever you want to call it. Uh, near arm opposite. You see a lot of kids have success with that in high school, and then it doesn't necessarily transfer over to college, especially at the D1 level. But this kid's made it work, and he's he's been successful with it against some of the best guys in the country. I think the big storyline here is how are the Buckeyes going to bounce back from Sunday's loss to the uh, Penn State Nittany Lions. And Johnny, you know, one, of the, one of the winners for the Buckeyes, he's got something to prove. He wants to roll. He wants to continue to roll here. And Johnny is 15 and 1 right now. And he's having a great year. Who's his one loss? I think it was, I want to say, at the Clarion Open. I'll have to ch uh, check that. Or. Or just read Twitter and someone will correct. Yeah, somebody on Twitter. If you know, let us know, please. At Flow Wrestling. Yes, that would be, uh, be great. Ed. It's crazy Maybe. technology in the 21st century here. I love it. Do we have that? Uh, somebody, we'll get it. Well, still like a clarion guy, a Sherlock or something like that. Sam Sherlock? I think that's who it was. But you know, we'll check that. We'll get into it. And you know, hey, if you're a match for wire, you got to be happy with that first one. Yeah. Zero, I expected Julius to come out and at least get a takedown, you know. Um, yeah, both guys are one-time NCAA qualifiers, both as true freshmen. Julius at 125 was an NCAA qualifier for the Buckeyes, one and two. And the same result last year for Matt McGuire, who was one and two at 133 pounds. And here we go, McGuire on top, Julius underneath. Julius balled up, but he's fighting hands, he's keeping decent position there, although we see McGuire under the arms, which is where he wants to be. Throws a leg in on the right side to Julius. Almost came through, but he's got a cross wrist. Actually, two on one there. And he's, he's scooting, though. Nice job. Check me. He's uh, extending his hips, driving in. He's, he's controlling Julius from the top here. McGuire doing a pretty good job. Almost has it flat. Now uh, Julius trying to get away. That leg really cemented in there. He comes down and locks him. McGuire's got the jewel. He's flat on his belly, broken out nearly a minute into the second period. And he's doing a, a pretty good job here. I would say this is kind of similar to what we saw with uh, Rutherford and Zane Rutherford. Rutherford. Exactly. No question. This is the exact same scenario. And look at this. He's really got that half. He's running that hard. Trying to run that to grow into, is that what you're saying? I'm saying that, I'm basically saying that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Johnny DeJulius, uh, a lot of success. 
here in Ohio. Always nice to come. Uh, it's about 15 minutes up the road from Aurora, Ohio. And uh, we got we got some answers. I don't know if it was on Twitter, but Willie texted me. Oh, and we got it over there. And look at this! Look at this! Oh, it's gonna take down! No, they stay on the edge. No takedown, Jim and Tracy. Upset about it. The Kent State coach is upset. Zeb, tell me this. Is, is this a match that Kent State gets up for more so than... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no right. question. Well, this is just another match for Ohio State, I think. Um, you know, in, in reality, as I think people in Kent, Ohio, want this to be a rivalry. But the uh, fact of the matter is Ohio University Bobcats are Kent State's rival. And, and uh, you know, it's a conference rivalry and it's in state. But the Buckeyes aren't too concerned with Ohio, with Kent State. I just got to put that out there. And, yeah, I think Kent State gets up more for it than... Uh, Just under a minute to go. The Julius with the one point lead. The Julius tried to put him himself in that position. He tried, yeah, he tried to get his head underneath, which most guys don't want. Johnny De Julius loves that. So McGuire trails by a point. He's got riding time, so technically we're tied. He just needs to not get taken down. If he gets a takedown, he's gonna win. If De Julius gets, well, obviously. I'm stating the obvious here. Fantastic grasper of the obvious. Mr. Mark Bader. Shut your mouth, Zebulon. And we're gonna move towards the edge. The Amplifier's been playing the edge all match. All match, in my opinion. What do you think? A little bit. He's doing it pretty nasty for him. Yeah! Not anymore. As you say that, he comes back and takes it to the center of the mat. And we got 10 seconds to go. You smell that? It smells like overtime. And we're gonna go to... Or was that you? Yeah. Three, two, one. They're gonna give the ride to... Oh, man! We got stuff burning here, overtime. One, one up on the board, overtime. Mackenzie McGuire, Kent State, Johnny Banana Hands, DeJulius, the Buckeyes. One minute, sudden victory to start here, and we're rolling. And McGuire done a masterful job of not engaging the positions where Mr. Julius is tough. And DeJulius goes three point. Here in the eyes, they're fighting the hands. So we'll see. And, and, and I, I kind of there's a shot. And did Julie's gonna try to get underneath again? I kind of missed it over here. How did McGuire get in and almost score? Was it a double leg? It looked like a single leg. And here we go. Look at Julie's trying to get underneath. You see it? He's got the left elbow. That's where he wants to be. He'll come right side sweep, keep that elbow, and try to dump. And they're gonna scoot out of bounds. We'll come back to the center. 21 seconds to go in overtime to Julius and McGuire. And McGuire to Julius. This is a uh, matchup of number nine. This is number nine. And it fired off. McGuire takes a shot. To Julius stops it and catches him, but we're back in the opposite position from where the Julius wants to be. So we could go top bottom, and from what we've seen, McGuire's been the better here. Of course, we haven't seen the Julius on top tonight. Matt is gonna go. Looks like Max is gonna go. Max chose top. Wow. I didn't, but I heard you say it. I, was, yeah. I looked down. So a top choice by Max McGuire. He's gonna try to ride to Julius for 30 seconds here and then go underneath and get his escape. No, no. He chose top. Well, he'll probably. Oh, shoot. Wow, yeah, you're right. Max McGuire is gonna try and ride twice. Yes. Well, he rode him, you know, he's got to ride him twice, and he's doing a good job. We see McGuire, look at him, he's on the insides of his feet, he's driving forward. He's going to try to get a leg in, but a reversal. Johnny DeJulius, he scores two with 10 seconds to go in the first overtime, and he's going to take a 
a 2-1 lead. So McGuire getting a little bit overzealous there, tried to throw that leg in a little bit early. And it bites him. See, he didn't choose that. He didn't choose top. He just chose down. Oh, okay. So, okay, we were mistaken. So, I actually feel better about it just because it's the right thing to do for both guys, I think. 